Hey there guys, what is going on? Shalopy here, and welcome to a different video. I did it. I didn't just say my normal intro because this is not a normal video. You could probably see it in the title, but today we're going to be taking a look at all the stuff I built in 2020. A little remembrance on the server, and I screwed up the year already. I think I'll be doing that plenty. 2021 is the year that I was going to say just happened, but I guess this will come out whatever um i consider christmas the official end of the year you know those days until new year just count that as the next year you know what i mean anyway i hope you guys all had a great holiday and today we're going to take a look back at um at sort of what went on on the server this year um kind of what i built what i did um i say that selfishly because honestly there was a lot of really great builds on the server this year and that video would be far too long to make and quite honestly a little bit complicated <laughs> So we will see some other people's builds, but I'm sort of modeling it around. Um, quite honestly, I have YouTube open on my other monitor, and I'm just looking back through videos I made this year. And that's why we are starting here. Um, the villager update came out sort of late, I think September-ish, 2020, and I wanted to make a new base. I needed a storage room and stuff, so I thought I would do a base kind of with the villagers all around, because I was curious... Uh, how they work, what they do, are they actually useful, and the answer is eh, sort of, you know? Sort of. Sort of. They're not bad, but they're not like, great. They're in this weird state of flux where they don't kind of break the game or anything, but they're also <laughs> just not really that useful either. Um, we've got this gal up here, our researcher, and one of the things I really liked about the villagers is that they all kind of have to have their own little habitat. I do wish you could put them a little bit closer together. Um, there's these weird restrictions, although I've never actually tried it, but there's certain villagers that need to be quite far away from other villagers. And I, I don't really know the reason for that. I guess they don't want you just to pile them all in one room and like get all your stuff, but I do wish they could be a little bit closer together. It is kind of difficult when you have to put them quite far apart. But, um, it is an interesting thing that they all have sort of habitats where they work best. I think that's a neat feature, um, to sort of add to them. Anyway, this is the researcher villager, and my favorite villager thing we built. Just a big, creepy library on top of a hill. And, yeah, I don't really have any use for the old journal pages or data chips that she gives. You know, all these. Um... But it's kind of cool to collect them, I guess, and it gave us an excuse to <laughs> build a big thing up here. And continuing along that, we also did one for the machine villager. These villagers kind of remind me of, like, passive income. You know, it's not something you can rely on or really uh, do crazy stuff with. I mean, some people do, blah, blah, blah. That's a bad metaphor, but they're just kind of there, you know? Don't expect to get too much from them, but if you just kind of see them every now and again, you do get some good stuff. You know, this is all from her, and they're kind of things that are slightly annoying to craft, but not really that annoying, but now I have a little stockpile, which is kind of nice. Anytime I need machines, I know I can just come over here. Um, I also set up a little machine area where I can sort of play with them, which has actually come in real handy. I do this quite a bit, just play with the mechanics of the machines and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to build a base with like little spots for each villager and just sort of experiment with them. And it's been, it's been interesting. I like the base. I kind of like that it's a little bit spread out. We still have more work to do on it. We're missing a lot of the villagers. I kind of started with the ones I thought would be the most useful. Um, you know, the machine guy, there's a logger somewhere, the gardener, don't get me started on that. Um, the machine village, uh, the potion villager over here, kind of useful. A lot of the potions I don't use a ton. I probably should. Um, like, especially the speed ones or, like, stamina regeneration. It's just kind of nice. Um, I did, you know, when I was building in the Christmas village just now, I did come over and it was nice to not have to make a bunch of the freeze resistance, you know? Agatha, that was very lovely of you. And I also tried to give these, you know, a little usefulness, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I should be quicker with this part of the tour because if you watch the episodes, I'm over here so much. But I, I tried to have everything um, in my base sort of be available. And I think I did that pretty well. Like, normally when I come over here, 
whatever I need is usually close by. There's a few farms and stuff missing, but for the most part, everything's pretty good. Uh, this is the main storage room. Um, it is handy. I like just having a small amount of processors, forges, sort of quick grab storage. Uh, my touchstone's right here, so it is quite easy to come over here, grab stuff, and go. I will say that is a very nice part of working over here. We've got our little teleporters. We've also got the storage room over here for the sort of bulk storage of the item blocks itself. Which also, super, super handy. When I finish a project, I just pick up all the stuff and just sort of dump it back in here. And it's really great. It's really, really great. I actually quite enjoy having this storage room as well. Um, I haven't really finished it that much. The other thing that's great is having... I'm using the word great too much. Is, uh, is having this over here so I can quickly take those login bundles and just dump them in here and just have far too much of everything from those but if you guys are thinking about a storage room having this little extra part with all of these because these blocks are so annoying to store sometimes you know like all of these blocks I don't know what you'd do if you didn't just put them in a chest themed um, also I've been playing the game so long I kind of know what the block sets are so for me like kind of having a room that's visual like this like I know you know the Adobe one and you know the Greek limestone one and the industrial one is just very handy. Just very handy. Um, we've also got some villagers over here. I kind of got burnt out on this project a little bit because it just felt like... Once I realized what the villagers sort of were and what they're used for, I was just like, ah, do I really want a place for each of them? You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is a terrible mentality, but like, I haven't come over here and... Uh, very very long time because I just don't use explosives um, even though this room is super neat uh, this one always disappears oh no you're there thank you very much sir um, it's also now that there's a repairman villager having backup <laughs> lubite gloves is just completely unnecessary I have like 10 in there from this guy and I will never use them but uh, yeah the villagers are cool they're just kind of <laughs> Whatever. Um, the other thing I built that was super useful over here is uh, is this this down here. This has been an idea I've had for pretty much since I started playing the game. And it's literally just a big empty room where you pick up treasure chests. It also works great as a mob spawner, of course. So if I ever need, like, uh, what do they call them? Warm worm teeth or anything like that. I just come down here and... For whatever reason, it is not working. Usually it is completely flooded. That's not a great sign, is it? That is not a great sign at all. But you come to one end, you go back through the other, and you can run through the whole thing in like, I don't know, maybe a minute? Usually you get quite a few chests. Yeah, there's one now. Boop. It's not the world's like craziest build, but it's something that just kind of took a while. Um, especially clearing out all the ores afterwards. Yeah, it's the treasure chest lady that never seems to have treasure chests for me. Uh, but yeah, this goes just all the way down. You kind of have to stand and wait for just a moment for them to populate. There we go. I was kind of surprised it spawns the chest at the same time. I, I mean, I guess it's just all one spawning algorithm or whatever. And here's the last layer, the most annoying layer, because I had to light up huge sections of the corruption to get stuff to spawn. But, um, yeah, it's cool. This build, really great. I think if I were to redo it, I'd probably make it twice as long and just kind of go crazy with it. But uh, I do have tons of stuff now. Like, this is all exclusively from uh, treasure chests and some mobs killing and stuff. I did go down there originally to get all the villager upgrades. That was part of the reason I wanted the treasure chests. And, uh, yeah. These are all duplicates of ones I have. You can tell by the check mark, of course. But I actually had plenty more of these that I went and put in the community bank. And you just end up with so much stuff, you know? So, a lot of this stuff is pretty useful, especially the wood. I've emptied these quite a bit just to have the ores, you know explosives, 
stuff like that. It is actually pretty handy just to not have to craft this stuff. And it's quick to run through, which is cool. Anyway, let's go check out um, some builds that aren't my base, because the base is kind of in this constant state of not being finished, and I probably should finish it, and I want to, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I get more excited about other builds. Sorry, not sorry, you know? Just like Ariana. Alrighty, our first community build uh, started this year. Um, taught me a lot of stuff, but that was the Star Wars build. We had a um, a vote in the uh, in the Discord, and um, Star Wars won, which surprised me. Oh, we're almost at 300 players. That's fun. Star Wars surprised me. I was um, I I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, just because I'm I'm not. I don't know. I liked the Phantom Menace when I was a kid because pod racing is cool. Um, but yeah, Star Wars was interesting. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. And there's some really cool ships and stuff. Um, I think one of the things about the Star Wars build that I kind of learned is that um, with these sort of more narrow community build ideas, it uh, might turn some people off, um, mostly because I heard from people that they were kind of turned off. Just because it seems so, um, <clears throat> I guess, limited in scope, you know? Like, if you're not into Star Wars, you probably won't build in the Star Wars area. And also, if you are into Star Wars, <clears throat> you know, there's, like, some ships that are cool to build and whatever, but who knows what you really do beyond that, you know what I mean? Even my build in this area, um, I mean, it's not nearly as majestic as all these, which are really, really cool, but uh, even my build in the area, I kind of had a vague Star Wars idea and then just kind of took off from there. Um, so I kind of learned with... The community builds, it's better to go a little bit more broad. Because I was also thinking a Harry Potter-themed community build would be really fun. Um, but then I, you know, outside of, like, something like Hogwarts and doing, like, a big school, um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff in Harry Potter, but is it great for a community project when I imagine a lot of people, if as soon as I say Harry Potter, think about, like, building Hogwarts and probably Diagon Alley, and that's about it. Um, just sort of an interesting thing. But the Star Wars project was really cool. Seeing these ships come up was awesome. And I built mine a little bit of ways because it was big. <laughs> and now I have to find it. Alright, I see those fake trees, so I know I'm close. I guessed the right direction, which is fun. So this project I worked on quite a lot. I was very excited about it. I really wanted to make an adventure map. Um... I really love adventures. I think adventures still have a lot of use. And it's always been one of the things I've wanted to do is make like a really fun, engaging adventure where you play like little games. And that's what this was supposed to be. And I was having a lot of fun doing it until I got really burned out because it's, um, it's just so much work. And I don't know. I just kind of, I just got burnt out on it. Um, somebody's come over here and done strange things this all used to be greenery um but yes it's it was a really fun build i had this sort of jungle temple idea and you could see uh when this is green it makes a lot more sense but there's sort of this overgrown quality to it and it was supposed to be an adventure about going to sort of an abandoned jungle temple to i don't know save someone or something and um yeah, it was a really fun build. There's a lot of texturing going on, which I enjoyed. I also tried out the uh, having a ton of gardeners in one area, which is definitely the way to do gardeners. So, if you guys are curious, um, best way to do gardeners, just have them all around one little crop field. Anyway, that's not important. But yeah, the idea was to have sort of six or seven challenges in this sort of large temple. And if you put them all together, it opens the doors and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, I did get burnt out. I was having fun building it. But one of the problems I ran into is um, the mechanics of a lot of the games just weren't really working. Um, and I couldn't figure out. I, I just didn't plan it well enough before I started, I think. So the idea was you sort of have three challenges on each side. And you go through them, and you can complete them all, which is fine. 
It just, uh, it never quite worked, and that's a bummer. So this was like a trivia room. You were going to have a question in each room to continue on. And I was having more fun building the rooms and stuff than I was building the actual mechanics of the game. I was trying to build a lot of them over at, um, at the area with the machine villager. So I found I was just not having as much fun actually building the adventure as I was just building. So I decided to kind of stop doing this and, um, yeah, just go back to building because why not? I also got kind of discouraged because I still haven't done anything with the adventure update. So, oh, that's kind of funny. He spawned on top. <laughs> he spawned on top of the definitely not uh, the P word course. It's just a jumping course. So, yeah, this build I really do love. Maybe I'll come back to it one day. If they ever did, like, an actual adventure update, I probably would come back to this. I think there's still a lot of potential, but, yeah, it just didn't, uh, just didn't work out for me, I don't think. But I spent um, more time than I'd care to admit <laughs> building this. I was having a lot of fun sort of testing ideas, and I had sort of a loose screenshot in my head of what I wanted this to be. And um, I actually did a pretty good job of, of making it what I wanted it to be. So that was cool. It's always nice when a vision sort of comes to life. But yeah, the Star Wars area kind of lost um, lost steam. There wasn't a ton of people really interested in building in it. I think it's kind of my fault. I think it's just not a very good community build idea. And the people who were interested in building in it kind of built, built a few ships, which were very, very cool. But um, yeah, Star Wars just a bad community project idea but was uh was fun trying to do this and i learned i learned a lot about like building design and especially like texturing like even uh even these walkways i spent quite a bit of time on and just having a few more textures than i would probably normally put in a build you know having these be columns having even the fences sort of switch up uh, using different stair types just adding the little details and the, the leaves and everything. This project was really great for sort of playing with a lot of different ideas like that. So, learned a lot, had fun, but uh, just sort of a... <laughs> you know what? It was supposed to be a forgotten jungle temple, and now it sort of is. So, it works. So, gotta clean this up, but... Um, <laughs> but, um... We started another community project, the Modern City. This is one I've wanted to do for a long, long time, which was just very simply a modern city. I think in Creativer so often we build sort of old school stuff. You know, we have so many blocks that... I just think you sort of build in the block sets. So, you know, there's the Galactic, there's the Castle, even the Limestone, sort of more old school. And I've always wanted to just do kind of like a big modern city and have a good time. And this one seem to pique a lot of people's interest. So we've got plenty of stuff built over here, which is really fun. We actually started this community project in August, which kind of surprises me. I thought it was a little bit more recent than that, but it turns out I just hadn't played that much in August and September because I was changing jobs, which was its own thing. But yes, modern city with modern roads and a drainage ditch. And <laughs> um, somebody did a wonderful job landscaping this since the last time I was on. But yeah, just a little modern city. Um, this is sort of the spawn-in skyscraper thing. Um, I built a movie theater, which I'm very, very proud of. Um, I wanted it to be one of those, you know, classic old-school one-screen movie theaters you see in older towns. We got our ticket guy. We've got multiple ticket guys. Um, but yeah, just a real... Hello. $400 for a ticket. You got robbed, Roger. Uh, but yeah, real simple movie theater. Um, we've even got a projector up here that lights. We could turn off the lights to the theater, yeah. And then the projector comes on. And uh, yeah, just kind of a fun little build. And um, yeah, the modern city's been a real breath of fresh air. Because I, I think it's one of those community project ideas where... There's so much you can build in a modern city. I know somebody did just like a, uh, I don't even know where you find it now. Yeah, they did a whole sewer system. 
But I just enjoy that there's just like a lot of there's just a lot of things you can build and it's kind of just there's not many limits to it you know this is a cool modern house castle murdoch and shakira hello shakira shakira um kind of a cool purpley house we've got the uh the super modern sort of japanese um side over here i'm gonna do a big tour of it eventually so i don't want to give anything away if people are still building but just so much potential. There's so much you could do. All I did was pretty much lay these roads. And, um, yeah. But it's been cool. So I built uh, this skyscraper. I built the movie theater here. Which, again, uh, I tried to use some different textures. Did some coloring to match the brick. Exterior design. My frames are going. Um, but one of the interesting things about this area, maybe not interesting to anyone else, but before it was the modern city, it was actually a different location. I wanted to create a place where we could share blueprints, but you could actually see them in real life. I think blueprints are interesting. I've changed my mind on them a few times. I do think they're a great resource. Um, but yeah, this was actually going to be the blueprint area, and it was for a little bit, and then I really wanted to do the modern city... And honestly, I just liked this area so much with the rivers that I decided to change it mid, um, mid build thing. I was, I think I'd only done one or two things in sort of the blueprint area, so it wasn't a big deal. But, um, I gotta stop saying, but, um, yeah, this was gonna be a blueprint area where you can share really cool blueprints. Um, so like this, give me that tree and so you could just kind of come over here and check out different ideas and sort of see them in person and then think about it that way which I think is really interesting and I think um, this side I'm still going to probably do that it's going to be kind of a nature reserve but it's all blueprints so we can still check out cool trees like this but yeah all of these trees I put the blueprint inside of as well so you can actually come over here and see it and if you wanted to copy it you know it's easy enough to go on the store and find it but it was going to be the blueprint area. I was also looking for trees at the time because there's so many things in the blueprint store that I kind of wanted to just find some really good trees I could use and sort of quickly come over here and browse. Because something like this is really, really great and sometimes that's all I want. Or something like this, you know, it's it just like a quick reference area, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> the modern city... Um, the most recent thing I built over here is my house over this way. I wanted a super sleek modern house in the area, and a few neighbors have popped up since, but, uh, why do I keep doing it? Ugh, I'm bad at speaking. Did the, um, the coastline here, just to sort of add, you know, the landscape here in Creativerse is gorgeous, but it is always nice to sort of spruce it up and you know, add some difference and some more stuff, and oh, I hate coral so much. It growing on mud is like my least favorite game mechanic. Um, I hate it so much because mud is actually quite a nice looking block, and if you leave and come back to an... See, it's already back. It grows so quickly as well. You know what? Somebody told me if I flip it upside down, it won't grow. It's not as nice a texture, but we'll see. I thought I was going to turn back and it'd be back there. Anyway, uh, yes, this house. It took me a while. Um, I spent a good, like, four or five episodes just landscaping it, but I really do love it. It's all decorated up for the holidays at the moment. But, yeah, it was interesting. None of this was here. It was sort of just on, like, a weird grassy slope, but I kind of wanted a house on stilts. I built this um, little moat waterfall here. All this gardening and stuff. And I really tried to not be symmetrical. That's something I've been trying to get away from. I realized in the real world, symmetry is very rare. Especially, not especially, but in houses and everything. Symmetry is just actually quite a rare thing. So I've been trying to move away from it with my building to make them look a little bit more natural and better. I feel like with especially square block games like Minecraft and this, it's so easy to just be symmetrical and it, you know, usually ends up looking nice, but yeah, just a real nice, real nice place. It's probably, I, I could have probably done a little bit 
uh, more like with coloring of the walls and stuff. But I think it looks nice. I, I kind of wanted that Apple Store look. Um, and yeah, I also really wanted to make it almost like a functional house. Which is always sort of an interesting thing in video games because there's really no reason to do that. But I, I don't know. I've never... I don't often do interiors, so it's it's always fascinating to sort of try and do them, right? So even uh, the light switch turns on lights and off lights. Upstairs, uh, bedroom. Not much. Uh, not much to see up here. But yeah, just a nice, cute little house. And the house actually took a lot less time than all of the lands. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, that one's already upside down. And it's, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Ugh. If anyone has a solution for this mud problem, hashtag no coral. Coral. Um, yeah. This is all just the landscaping. You know, just added sand to the coast because that's usually all grass or whatever. Added some sand to the coast and... More coral. More coral. Anyway, modern area. Still going to be working on it. I'm looking forward to getting back here. Probably in the, uh, the new year, I'll be back in this area building some more. And I don't know what I'm going to be building yet, but I, I'm just really enjoying this. You know, I could kind of, you know, do a grocery store or a convenience store would be kind of fun. I don't know. So many ideas. So, I was going to say so little time. As much time as, as I want, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, there was only one other thing I worked on this year. There was a bunch of episodes that were random things or, like, touring other people's builds. And I, I yeah, I did a lot of building this year, but probably not as much as normal. Maybe? I don't know. I spent a lot of time on the smaller details this year. Like, um, you know, like this coastline. In the past, I probably would have built the house. And then... You know, maybe done one episode, like, cleaning it up or something, but, you know, spending two or three episodes doing all of this, I've just really been enjoying sort of the smaller detail work, and, um, and you guys don't seem to buy me either, which I really appreciate, you know? Y'all are the best. And lastly, I did something I haven't done in years, and I put out four episodes in one week. I spent two pretty solid days recording those. Because I wanted to finish um, a holiday build in what has otherwise been a very peculiar year. I just did this, so I won't spend too much time, but I um, thought I'd show you guys what it feels like popping into view as we wander through this strange lighting change. <laughs> there it is! The mayoral manor on top of the hill, because as you're all aware, I'm the mayor. And, um... Yeah, decided to do something a little different this year. I just wanted to do, like, a big build, but I, I, I don't know. I saw this hill, and I really liked the idea of, like, a big big mansion on top of it, just kind of looking down. And, um, yeah, four episodes in four days. It was a lot. It was a full weekend of Creativerse, but it was a really good time um, sort of doing up. It's interesting trying to change a canyon into something a little bit more mountainous. Um, so I used a lot of peak stone and, and tried to get rid of, I got rid of a lot of snow up there and it was an interesting experiment. Um, I, I'm not sure how well this all came out, but I really like it. So we've got this, this bridge walkway into it, which again, hashtag no more symmetry. And we go into, there's a big old staircase going all the way up. There's also this awesome fan route. Bloop, 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 bloop. And, yeah, we got this great view of the Holiday Village, and we've got this great big old home. This is most definitely a weird fire hazard, but, yeah, I think it's just kind of special. A little, a little different, and it's just a big old Holiday Manor. We've got our um, stockings hung by the fireplace with no chimney with care. We've got a little eating area. We do not have a kitchen. But we order in. It's fine. I'm the mayor. And, yeah. It's just sort of a real weird... Real weird place. 
But it was fun. There was a lot of landscaping, again. <laughs> uh, I don't know why everything I build now um, comes with landscaping, but I really enjoyed this build. I also tried to really mix in other blocks so it's not just gingerbread. So I used all the different bricks and... I like the look of it because it's not just gingerbread, but it still has a very sort of homey holiday feel. And we've got a very cozy basement down here. You know, where everyone would actually hang out. Uh, we've got a creepy cellar, which is where the staircase comes up for some reason. I wouldn't worry about it. If you go down here, you get the staircase. And this was how I ended the year, was with this sort of large build that I did over a weekend doing nothing but playing Creativeverse, <laughs> which uh, felt like an appropriate end to 2021. It's been a very strange year. It's been a very hard year for a lot of people, and I can't thank you guys enough to support. It's been really fun. I know not everyone's playing Creativeverse as much as they used to, but, you know, it's just been really fun having the Discord, chatting with you guys, seeing the builds on the server, or photos you share in the discord and i hope we uh continue to do it moving forward maybe even play other games together that are creative verse one day but thank you guys so much um it's been an absolutely strange and <laughs> just a strange year and i uh i got through it a little bit easier with all of you so thank you very much and i will see you in i actually have one more video coming out before 2022 but I'm recording this one after that one, so this is my last video recording this year. Um, that's not important. The magic of YouTube and scheduling. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next year. But in the next video, that'll still be this year. You get it. You're smart. Talented. Tall. Good looking. You got the whole package, don't you? I don't know why. Let's end this video looking at a side of a bridge. Yep. Anyway, thank you again for everything. And I will see you guys in the next year. Ciao.